From the moment he set foot on an NBA court, Michael Jordan dominated his sport like few athletes ever had. He electrified crowds with his skill and style. He turned the Chicago Bulls into a dynasty with six championships in eight years. And in 15 seasons with the Bulls and Wizards, he would transcend the game of basketball, becoming one of the most recognizable athletes in the world. Not bad for a player who was once cut from his high school team. But that didn't stop Michael. In fact, nothing ever did. And after soaring to the top of the NBA, there was never a doubt that Air Jordan would one day land in the Basketball Hall of Fame. It's easy to understand why many consider Michael Jordan the greatest player in basketball history. But describing what made him so great isn't so simple. You know, I have the greatest respect for Michael because he put his heart and soul on the court every night. You know, just watching him dribble up that court, looking you right in the eye, and not knowing what he's going to do is the scariest thing you ever want to be involved in. He just made you wish that for one day that you could fly in the air. You wonder what it would be like. It was as a freshman at the University of North Carolina that Michael burst onto the national stage. A one-point lead. Shot. The biggest shot in North Carolina history for a first year guy to come up and be that willing to take that shot and to make it really just boosted him on to the career that he had. Michael would become a two-time college player of the year and his high-flying exploits dazzled fans across the country. As soon as I got in the dressing room, Michael comes running in and grabs, coach, coach. And I said, what? Well, yeah, what, you okay? He said, I hope that dunk wasn't too flashy. I said, what dunk? He said, the one I just did at the end. So I guess that is a pretty fitting end to the ball game. Jordan, look at that! Holy cow! That probably something I told him, this don't you know, embarrass people with that. Drafted by the Bulls with the third overall pick in 1984, he was an instant sensation. Our first day of practice, uh, one of our assistants called me after the practice and said, I don't think you screwed the draft up this year. It's an effort by Jordan, who has it on the break, driving all the way in. Oh, the one highlight I always remember in my mind is the one down in Atlanta, and he kind of gives a little ball fake, and then boom, he's at the rim, and he, and he dunks on top of everybody. Stepped it out to Jordan, down the lane, all the way. Michael Jordan was doing things that you never even thought you'd see. Steal, he kept it in bounds. Here it is again. You couldn't imagine seeing it. Oh, yeah. Whatever you paid to see Michael Jordan, it wasn't enough. You knew that every night out there, you were going to get the greatest concert of your life. Five seconds. Jordan on the drive, right of the lane. 18 yeah! yeah! Michael Jordan is sort of the hip hop version of Dr. J. He come in and he he he's walking the air, he flies sideways, and the tongue out. Look at the air, look at the hang time, look at the flying motion. Every year he came back and he was better. He was stronger, he was quicker, he shot the ball better, he had its three-point range. Well, chart right to Jordan, time winding down, Michael for three. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. Soon he began to make his mark when it counted most in the postseason. 63 for Jordan, a new set in the Boston Garden. The inbounds pass comes into Jordan. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win it! They win it! His basketball brilliance was captivating fans not just across the country, but around the world, as Jordan had become a global icon. Sometimes I dream <laughs> that he is me. I just want to be like Chuck. I mean, Mike. As a member of the fabled 1992 Dream Team, he won his second Olympic gold medal, but his most unforgettable performances would take place on the NBA stage, where he turned the finals into his own personal showcase. Oh, a spectacular move by Michael Jordan. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. Seconds to go in the shot clock, 15 in the ball game. Michael will take it, he's fouled, he scores! Superman's back in the building! 55 for MJ! 
But in 1993, after the tragic loss of his father, Michael stunned the basketball world by announcing his retirement. After 18 months away from the game, he decided to return to the hardwood. And when he resumed his career, he and the Bulls continued making history. The Chicago Bulls have regained the NBA throne. And for Michael Jordan, the king returns. An emotional moment on this Father's Day for Michael Jordan. You know, this, I can't even put it in words. My father's that what it means to me. I know he's watching. This is for daddy. MJ, top of the circle against Russell. Michael hangs, fires, scores! against Russell, 12 seconds, 11, 10, Jordan, Jordan a drive, hangs, fires, yes! scores, he scores, the Bulls lead 87-86, the Chicago Bulls have won their sixth NBA championship in the last 10 years. I guess the last thing image I would have of Michael is his smile and his total dominance at both ends of the floor. When you start thinking about all that he did, to me he's the greatest player to ever play. Winning is hard to do, and uh, it's, it's a price that you pay for it. And that's how I saw Michael as, as a player, as somebody that wanted to prove that he's a winner every day. My final memory of Michael is following through on that shot and making a great extension. That moment when you knew the shot was going in and just that look when he turned around and came back towards the bench and his, his teammates went over to him and they were coming back as a group. That's the memory that sticks with me the most.